Khan has been trying to master movements on ice for centuries. So to help me try and do that today, we've got Shane who's an ice hockey player and you're actually a goalie. So tell us a little bit about the goalie experience. Sorry, terrible link. <laughs> From ice skating to curling, mankind has been trying to master movement on ice for centuries. So to help me try and do that today, I've got Shane who is an ice hockey player. And you're actually a goalie, Shane. Yep. So we're stepping into your office today. From what I understand, this area over here, this what's is this my called? Crease. It's called uh, the crease. Yep, this is the goalie's crease here. And uh, this is where all the fun happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. So Shane, the first thing that I notice is that my uh, hockey stick, which is a, just a normal player's hockey stick, Yours is a little bit thicker. Tell me about yeah. why there's a difference. Uh, so you'll also hold the stick a lot differently. So you'll see it's a lot thicker. Um, that's generally just so that we also can cover more. Um, and you'll also hold it differently, whereas a right player, you hold it on the right stick and you'll actually drop down. Drop it down. Yeah, so you're <laughs> in this sort of position when you're, when you're holding it. Um, okay, perfect. So it's as the most awkward looking position it possible? Is, yes, <laughs> it is quite an awkward looking. It's uh, your general, your, your stance and uh, you have to get used to basically squatting that's going to be your best friend. So if you feel awkward doing it, that means you're doing it right? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> so there's a lot of pressure being a goalie, of course. I mean, you have to, you're the only one on the team who's able to stop the puck. What are your number one goalie tips? Uh, well, you've always got to make sure that you follow the puck. Yeah. Uh, so keep your eye on the puck throughout the entire game. And Speaking of which, do you want to show me just a bit of a toss to and fro with the puck here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> So um, always keep the eye on the puck. Yeah, so always keep the eye. So if you're not going to take the shot at me over here, yeah. uh, generally what I would do is go down into a butterfly and I would go into a butterfly stance. Down. Like okay, that. cool. So we spoke, we've said that dropping it down might be a little bit dangerous for me at this point. I don't quite have the gear on yes. that you've got on. But there is a move that you can show me in terms of defending. So yeah, so we'll wanna... just do a little like a shuffle. So if you're going to go okay. from one side to the other, what you want to then do is you'll get into like your little stance, get nice and low down, and you're going to just move your legs and you're going to so crab walking. shuffle, almost sort of <laughs> crab walking. You've got okay. to basically push that leg. Push that uh, leg. Yeah, so you want to oh, push so, it. So what I'm doing incorrectly, I think, is I'm picking up my foot, yeah. and I should actually be scraping. Scrape it along. Scraping along. <laughs> Let's it try and get it that way. To get used to it, yeah, and trying faster. I think that there's a reason why I stay on land half the time. Awesome. Can you show me that move one more time? Because I don't think I quite got right. it. So you want to go down to a uh, stance, get your so legs Getting slightly. Getting the knees locked. Don't put your knees together. Okay. You put them aside. Okay. Side to side. And then you want to take your left leg and you want to So we're push booty that. squatting is what I'm feeling. <laughs> and now we need to basically squat and move at the same so time. Let's see if I can do it. There we so go. we're moving. One yeah, so you want to push, push your right leg and then pull your leg across the water. So, go. my issue is that I keep feeling like I'm going to fall. So, the first thing that you want to do is lift your feet up, which is exactly what you shouldn't be doing. So, let's see if I can just keep scraping. Yeah, you want to slide <laughs> it along. Slide it along. They say that this is um, a, a, a relatively difficult sport to do, and I understand why. After just watching the Olympics, I think I have a lot more appreciation for what those people do on the ice. <laughs> and you're going on the left-hand side if try you want to try. Try on the left-hand side, we'll so shimmy back push here. Push it slowly, here pushing we go. It that way. Squatting down, pushing it through. I'll tell you, I'm definitely getting a workout from this. All right, Shane, you have showed me how it's... Sorry. I can see why this is such a workout. I have a lot of more appreciation for what you guys do. Yeah, move Pushing a little it left leg, push it through. Push it it through. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely a workout. I have there a lot more go. appreciation for what you guys do. So you've shown me why it's important for your gear. You've shown me a few tips and tricks. I think it's time for you to really show me how it's done. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Butterfly. The butterfly, okay. I'm trying to channel my inner Margot Ravi, but she's not, not quite coming out. Okay, eye contact. Look, over there! <laughs> not quite. 
The effort was put in though. What I lack for in skill, I make up for in enthusiasm. <laughs> Trying to channel my inner Margot Robbie here. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shane. Clearly, what I lack for in skill, I make up for enthusiasm. Nothing gets past this man once he's, once he's between his pipes. <laughs> Let's see if I can channel my inner Margot Robbie on this one. <laughs> what I lack for. In skill, I think I make up for in enthusiasm. Thank you so much, Shane. Clearly, nothing gets past this man when he's on the ice. 